welcome back to my channel it has been a while since i filmed anything i'm very sorry i said i, I always say this i'm gonna get better at filming and then i don't <laughs> i've also been trying to get this video up for a really long time but there was some hiccups along the way but anyways today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my review on rare beauty i'm sure your guys's whole feed has been flooded with rare beauty i know mine is like my whole instagram explore page is now selena gomez and rare beauty i'm not mad at it though <laughs> but um i was trying to film this for you guys like right when it launched i had ordered some stuff um i had ordered the foundation the concealer the primer and then i ordered a blush and and two of her lip balms and then i started seeing more reviews come out and i wanted to try some more things so i picked up a few more things um and i was just trying to wait until i got everything that i ordered to kind of give a final review um so there's some stuff that i have tested out and then there's some stuff that i have not tested out yet so it's kind of like a first impressions but also like a review i don't know i'm just gonna show you guys everything i got how i use it and all of that so um let's hop into it a couple things about the brand itself um i have been a like huge fan of selena gomez since way back in the day before even wizards of waverly place like her disney channel days um i loved her so much and then when she started coming out with music like i loved her even more and now she has an amazing makeup line and I like just absolutely like once I saw all of like the advertisements and everything for the brand I was like yeah like I for sure have to get my hands on this <laughs> so I know where beauty isn't Sephora verified clean beauty um but I looked at a lot of the ingredients on the website and things like that and the ingredients all look pretty um pretty good like I didn't really see too many ingredients in there that I um, like try to stay away from so I feel okay using it even though it's not like fully clean some things to know about the product so I'm looking on the Sephora website and so all of the products are free of sulfates SLS parabens formaldehydes um, mineral oil and a whole bunch of other things it doesn't have any synthetic fragrances which is great for someone like me who has really sensitive skin and tries to stay away from fragrances um so that i can like really get on board with as well as their messaging for their whole brand selena gomez and rare beauty set up a foundation so they set up the rare impact foundation which is a foundation to give back to people with mental health issues um so they can get treatment and things like that which i think is really cool as someone who struggles with mental health um that is something like that i can fully support and you know she also made this whole range like very inclusive for um every type of skin tone they came out with like 48 shades straight off the bat which is really insane um so you know there's always something for everyone and you know they preach about just being super inclusive on gender race nationality like literally everything i absolutely love this woman <laughs> um but a really great thing about the entire brand itself is that they pledge to give i think it was like 10 million dollars over the next 10 years through the rare impact foundation and other organizations that they're working with to give back to like mental health and all these other charities which i think is super awesome like not many brands do that so um all the reasons why i wanted to support this brand and why i picked up a couple things so let's just hop into putting the makeup on my face and i will show you guys what everything looks like so the first thing i picked up is the primer from rare beauty this is the rare beauty always an optimist illuminating primer and that is exactly what it is it's an illuminating primer um i wouldn't say it's very hydrating as someone who has like combination oily skin i don't really need a hydrating primer um but i do always like to go in with an illuminating primer on top of my like smoothing primer i always use two primers so I really have been enjoying 
this primer. It's very, very pearlescent primer. Um, there's like really no glittery chunks in it. It is just straight glow and sheen, which I really like. Um, and it kind of dries down to like a very tacky type of primer so that your foundation really grips to it, which I really have been liking. So I always go in first just with a smoothing primer and then I will go in with the glow primer. And I will list all of the products down below as well, including shades. Okay, so I just take about one pump of the Always an Optimist primer. And I believe, so that's the full size, but I believe there's a mini size as well. But as you can see, it really just gives a nice glow to the face. Nothing crazy. So the next thing I picked up is the Liquid Touch Weightless Concealer. I have this in the shade 250W, which happens to be Selena Gomez's shade, so. <laughs> um, so some cool things about this bottle. It's kind of like a, I wouldn't say it's a glass bottle. I'm pretty sure it's plastic, but it has like a very um, like frosted glass look to it, which is really nice. And then the top is really cool because Selena Gomez has lupus and I think that causes her to have arthritis in her hands and in her body. So she made the top specifically for people who suffer from arthritis so that it's easier for them to open because I know she has like some issues opening things and things like that because like her hands are so frail. So I thought that was really cool. So before I open it, I should actually shake it. It's a very liquidy, not concealer, it's a very liquidy foundation. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a ball in it. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the Juice Beauty Serum Foundation. Like that's kind of how liquidy it is. So as you can see, it comes with like this really cool doe foot applicator. I've never really used a foundation that has a doe foot applicator. So I think it's kind of cool because you can kind of just like paint it on where you need it and just kind of blend it in. Apparently I need it everywhere right now. And I didn't pick up any of her brushes or her sponge. Um, I don't really use a brush to put on my foundation. I usually use my fingers or a beauty sponge, um, but I heard the brushes are really nice. So I might try those out next. Um, and I didn't pick up her sponge because everyone was saying it's like super porous and like kind of just like soaks up too much product. No one really like liked it too much and I already have enough sponges. So I just use the one that I have. This is just one off like Amazon. <laughs> um, but I actually really like using it with a sponge. It kind of helps to sheer it out a little bit. It says that it's a medium to full coverage foundation. And I will say it has really good coverage, but I'm someone who likes like a really like light to medium foundation because I don't like that like cakey heavy feeling I get from like really, you know, full coverage foundations. So while this is a fuller coverage foundation and like does cover really well, it's so lightweight that you actually like don't feel it on your skin, which is so crazy to me. Like, look at how much, and you know, that's like with like a light layer of, you know, a couple dots all over my face and like look how well that covered. And I had a lot of like redness on this side, so it's so crazy and like it doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin right now, which I absolutely love because I love, I love not wearing makeup or when I am wearing makeup, I don't wanna like feel it on my skin. I don't wanna deal with it. So I really do like this foundation and it dries down to like a very natural finish. Um, I wouldn't say it's super dewy but it isn't matte either. Um, I know some people who are more on the dry side have said that it does kind of like cling to dry patches. And I will agree with that a little bit when I have a breakout that's healing or if I have like some dry patches on my skin, it does tend to accentuate those parts on my face. <laughs> so um, if you have like an extremely dry skin, I would say go in with like a hydrating primer or like an extra layer of some thick lotion. Um, 
but if you have more like oily combination skin like I do, I think this foundation is like going to be perfect for you. Um, I'm just going to go in with a little tiny bit more just to kind of show you how well it kind of builds on top of itself. And even when I do build it up, I still like cannot feel it on my skin, which is amazing. Okay, I'm just going to do a little close up of my skin. I've really been enjoying this foundation. Like it's, it's really good. <laughs> and I'm a more of like a CC BB cream type of person. So there's that. <laughs> and just another thing to note, um, all of her products retail for $30 or less, which is pretty great. It's like comparable to a lot of like the more affordable brands on Sephora or on the market. Um, it's a lot less expensive than like the high-end brands like YSL um, but it's you know a little bit more pricey than like your drugstore brands so very affordable but it does have like a very like luxurious type of like packaging and finish so um, I think she like really made it accessible for a lot of people which I appreciate because I'm not one to go spend like an arm and a leg on makeup I mean like I know I buy a lot of green beauty but like a lot of the things like Tata Harbor and um, Westman Atelier, those types of brands I don't really buy because they're super expensive. <laughs> so this um, foundation, it retails for $29 US. The primer retails for $26. The concealer retails for $19. So pretty affordable. Um, and then a couple things to note about the foundation. It is a weightless foundation with concentrated pigments that feels barely there while providing buildable medium to full coverage with a natural finish. So I would agree with all counts of that. <laughs> okay, so moving on, I'm going to use the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. I also have this in the shade 250W, so I got the matching foundation and concealer. Um, that's what they recommended, and I don't really like to go too bright on like my under eyes because I usually use my concealer to spot conceal anyways. So I'm not always trying to like use a million different concealers. So I got it in the same shade as a foundation, and I think it actually worked out very well. Like I can use it as a spot concealer as well as under my eyes to kind of brighten up a little bit because I have some pretty like purpley undertones under my eyes so I really like that and the applicator on here so it is a doe foot applicator but it has this like really cool triangular shape on here so you can like really get in to like the inner corner right there which I really like because I have like some pretty deep set like inner corners and like kind of like under eye bags. So I really like that. Um, and this guy says it is a lightweight hydrating concealer with cake free medium to full coverage that lasts while brightening skin with a radiant finish. So very similar to the foundation. I would also agree that it is while well, like a fuller coverage concealer it is super lightweight um it kind of reminds me like the bare minerals bare skin concealer it's very lightweight and liquidy but this one definitely has a lot more coverage and i absolutely like have been loving this concealer and i have a lot of um fine lines under my under eyes and I don't really notice like too much creasing under there I always get some type of creasing with any product I put under here so I haven't really like noticed too much creasing with this one which I really appreciate okay so before I set anything this is what my skin is looking like it looks pretty good especially with all of like the texture and kind of like scarring I have on this side. It covers really well. It covered this guy that I have right here up really well. I have a scar right here. Covered that up really well. Um, again, I've been really enjoying these base products. They are super good. <laughs> um, so she didn't come out with a powder. I know she has 
a compact that comes with blotting sheets and like a powder puff that has like a powder infused puff in it. Um, I don't really use blotting sheets and I don't really like think I'd be into just like a puff that has powder in it. So I'm just gonna go in with my Ilia Soft Focus finishing powder just to kind of set. I always set my face um, no matter what foundation or concealer I use. I have to set my face because I do get oily um, and I don't like the feeling of like unset foundation. I don't like it like feeling like sticky or tacky. This one actually dries down a good amount. It still does feel a little bit sticky and tacky, but like not an insane amount. So if you are on the drier side, I don't think you'll have to set it too much. I mean, you might want to set like your under eyes and like maybe your T-zone if you do get a little oily, but if you do have drier skin, I don't think you have to set it. But um, if you do have like more oily to combination skin, I would definitely set it with a powder. So that is one thing to note. So another thing to note, all of her base products are liquid. So the highlighter is a liquid. The blush is a liquid. Um, she didn't come out with any bronzer, so I wonder if she's going to be coming out with that in the future. Um, I don't really use a lot of cream products, so I'm okay with like using a powder product. I don't think I would ever use a cream bronzer, and I feel like that's going to be something that she's going to come out with next because everything is a cream or like a liquid. However, I always set my face before I put on any blush and highlight. And even though these are cream, I haven't had an issue putting these on top of like my already powdered face. So that is a really cool part. I know there's a lot of like formulas that when you put a cream on top of like already powdered skin, it doesn't blend out right or it looks patchy, whatever the case may be, these do not. Um, I actually haven't tried the highlighter, so we're gonna try that first. So this is the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer Highlight. Um, I got this guy in the shade Flaunt. It's like a very bronzy gold highlight. Um, on the website, it didn't look this dark. <laughs> um, there was like a very like silvery champagne highlight that looks like it'd be the standard of everybody's favorite. However, I like that more gold champagne-y highlight. Um, but then like the gold one was a very true gold. So I went with this flaunt shade. So it's a very gold bronzy color, but uh, it doesn't look like it'd be too dark. Yeah, it's very pretty. So these have been very hit or miss on a lot of people's videos. Um, either people like it or when they blend it out, they said that it kind of like messed up their foundation so i'm hoping that that's not the case um i know these do dry down really fast so i'm gonna be really quick with this but it is a silky second skin liquid highlighter that creates a long lasting soft and luminous finish it comes in eight shades so a good amount of shades someone can definitely find their shade in this um there's a shade for everyone so i'm gonna try this out and see how it works this also retails for $22 um I don't know what the best way to do this is I don't know if I should dot it on and blend it out I might just put some on the back of my hand let's put some on the back of my hand and then mix it in here just to kind of warm it up and I'm only going to start on one side so I'm just going to dot it on and blend it out Hmm. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see it too much in the camera, but as I'm looking close up in here, it definitely moved around my foundation. I definitely see what people are talking about. Um, so like under my brow bone, it's totally fine. And then right here i can definitely see it like breaking up hmm i don't like that <laughs> um i don't know maybe what if i do it like this what if i do it with a sponge 
Okay, I feel like it kind of looked a little bit better when I applied it to the sponge like that. So I just applied like a little bit to the back of the sponge, kind of bounced off the excess and applied it that way. Um, yeah, you know what? That's that's not my favorite. Um, I think I'm going to pass on that guy. I might have to return that one because it's just not my favorite. Oh yeah, nope, it, it definitely... Let me see if I can zoom you in. So if you look like right here, you can definitely see where it like broke up a little bit. Same on this side. So yeah, I definitely see what people are talking about when they say that it kind of like moved their foundation um, and it was like breaking it up. So I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of this concealer just to kind of touch all that back up and I'm definitely probably gonna return that highlight. Um, again, this is my first time trying that highlighter and I didn't buy it in the first place because there was so many mixed reviews but then I wanted to try it out anyways because I ended up loving most of her products so um, I tried. <laughs> but you know what? Who knows, it might be, you know, someone else in the world might like it, so that's totally fine. It's not going to be for everyone. We're just going to move on from that. Um, so I'm going to go in with some bronzer really fast, and then we will go in with blush. Just threw on a little bit of bronzer and highlight. Now I'm going to go in with some blush. Um, this is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. So the blushes come in two types of formula. So there is a matte blush and then there is a dewy blush. There is also eight shades of the blush. Um, so there's four matte and then four dewy ones. I ordered the blush in Joy, which is a dewy blush. It's more of like a peachy, orangey shade. Um, it hasn't come yet though because it's been out of stock. But I first ordered this shade. This is the matte blush in the shade Bliss. It is just a very pinky, um, natural shade, like a very baby pink shade. You literally only need the tiniest amount when using this. Um, it also has that like same kind of doe foot applicator, except there's like a little like hollow part in the middle of it. So it picks up a lot of the pigment. So Again, a little bit goes a long way. I already added some because I thought it was filming, but I'll show you guys again. So I just kind of do a little dot here and then here, here. Um, you literally, again, only need the tiniest amount and you have to work quick with these because they dry down really fast. But I just use a little like brush like this and I just kind of blend it up and back and see like that little bit gave me all of that color um they are very pretty though and very natural looking um and yeah so the matte definitely dries down like to a very matte <laughs> consistency so i'm very curious to see how the dewy one kind of dries down i wonder like if it stays tacky or if it just kind of looks more of like a sheen or whatnot um and then i also put just like a little dot right there and right there just to kind of give me like that sun kiss look like i've been in the sun even though i have not so this is what it looks like it does layer on top of the foundation super well um it doesn't disturb it or like move it around like the um <laughs> highlighter so that's what i really like about it it's like it's dried down like so much like it basically feels like you put a powder on so that's why um i did do this over the powder so that's what i was saying earlier about like you can totally use this over like powdering your face after the foundation because it doesn't move it around it doesn't like feel tacky or anything like that so you definitely don't need to set these which is super great um so i'm just gonna set my face really fast with some setting spray just to maybe try to fix that little bit of highlighter mess that I did earlier. I know she does have an eyebrow pencil. Um, I did not pick that up because I have way too many brow pencils. <laughs> and I know it has like, uh, like the triangle brow pencil part on one side and like a tinted brow 
gel on the other side. I can't think of what the words are. Um, I like having a spoolie on my brow pencils and I heard it was like super creamy. So I know I would go overboard on it. So I just didn't pick that up. So I'm just going to do my brows very quickly off camera and then we will be back. Next thing that we're going in with is probably the bane of my existence. I have never used this yet. But I haven't used a liquid eyeliner in so, so long, but I heard so many great things about this, so I figured, why not try it? <laughs> Might be a really bad idea, but we'll see. Um, this is the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. Um, so this is what the tip looks like. It is a felt tipped liner. Um, I think Selena Gomez made it a little bit of a fatter pencil like this because um she has like hard a hard time moving her hands so i guess it's like an easier way for her to do her wing but this thing is super easy to like work with and it definitely produces like a really nice even oops, that was a bad one even wing like that um so I'm hoping that the person who never does wing liner, um, oh my god, look, and it dries down so fast, like, look, I just did that and nothing. <clears throat> um, we're gonna attempt to do some wing liner and see how that goes. I wanna zoom you guys in a little bit. Pray for me. <laughs> if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my mirror, okay? I think this is as good as it's gonna get. And I need to clean this up because... I didn't do so hot, and this is why I never wing, wear ring, winged, ringed. This is why I never wear winged eyeliner because one, I have the most hooded eyelids in the entire world, and two, can't do it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take a little bit of this concealer and a winged eyeliner brush and just clean it up a little bit. We'll say it's not the worst that I've done, but it's not the best. Um, I'm sure if you're way better at winged eyeliner than I am, this would be totally a lot easier for you to do. <laughs> but since I suck at it and never do it, um, it's the best that's gonna happen. So we're gonna move on. I'm gonna do mascara really fast. Um, she doesn't have a mascara, so I'm just gonna use the one that I always use and then we will be back to finish up, do lips, give you my final thoughts. I put mascara on and it definitely looks it doesn't look too bad. All right. <laughs> Again, for someone who doesn't do winged eyeliner, I mean, it was pretty easy and it does look pretty nice. It's definitely like a very matte black eyeliner. Um, so yeah, moving on to lips. Um, I picked up two of her dewy lip balms. Um, I have the shade Thankful and Praise. So they're called the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balms. They retail for $16. There is another eight shades. Um, it is a hydrating, nourishing balm that adds a hint of just kiss color with a natural dewy finish. Retails for $16. Um, I wouldn't say it adds a hint of color, I would say these are pretty fucking pigmented. <laughs> um, this is the shade Thankful. It is a very like mauvey nudey color, like your lips but better. Um, and I would say that that is pretty, pretty pigmented. Um, and then this guy is the shade Praise. It's like a very um, kind of like peachy pinky color. Yeah, not not just a little hint of color. Like they're they're pretty pigmented. Um I've been wearing these like just on its own and it's like a very it's basically a mix between a lip balm and a creamy lipstick. Um so it has like the color payoff of a pretty creamy lipstick, but it has a very hydrating feel um something you can slap on your lips and just kind of run out the door with and when it fades it kind of like leaves a um like a stained look too like they they kind of stain your lips which i kind of like so they fade really nicely i'll just do this one first this is thankful um and i'll just kind of show you what it looks like on the lips like 
that's pigmented. <laughs> um, so I've been wearing both of these a lot and I've really been liking them. Um, and I know they have a clear one too that's just kind of like a clear lip balm. So kind of a shade for everyone, but you see how it basically stained my lips. I just picked this guy up because I saw a lot of people using it, especially in this color, and I really wanted to try it out. This is the Lip Souffle Matte Cream Lipstick. They retail for $20. Um, it is a weightless air whipped lip cream that hugs lips with rich color and nourishing hydration that gives a soft velvety finish. So it's kind of like that same like frosted glass looking thing, but it's like not glass, it's plastic as the concealer and the um, foundation and has a nice like doe foot applicator kind of looks like a like gloss applicator almost um i have this shade brave it is this like kind of orangey color i don't know perfect for fall i thought it was um and i heard these are kind of like a mix between a lip stain and like a kind of like soft matte cream like they don't dry down all the way but they kind of just like stain your lips so i wouldn't say it's like a super like matte liquid lipstick which is fine with me because i do not like super matte liquid lipsticks so i kind of just use my finger to um apply it and kind of like rub it into my lips just to kind of diffuse it a little bit but it's very like it almost looks like a soft like powdered lipstick almost um it's very comfortable on the lips. It's definitely yeah, like not dried down. It still like has some um, like movability to it. Like I can still kind of rub it around if I need to, but it just almost looks like a lip stain. Um, I like it. I think this is like the perfect shade for fall. Very just like, like it's a brighter color, but it's not something that I have to fuss with too much or worry about. Um, like it definitely does transfer a little bit, but not too much. Um, and it doesn't make my lips feel like they're like cracked or dry and yeah i don't know i like it <laughs> let's see what this looks like with pray or not praise but thankful over it the dewy lip balm oh yeah see i think i would layer both of these to get that like nice kind of glossy look too because i kind of i'm more into like that glossy look than that like matte look now so i think i would layer both of them although if i wanted something just for like a nice little like lip stain i would probably use this but overall do really like this guy um so some of my biggest takeaways um the primer i love i love that it gives a very um like glowy look to the face without being glittery um it isn't very hydrating so if you're looking for a hydrating primer you might not like this one, although if you like layering primers like me, this is a really good one. Um, the foundation, I absolutely love this foundation. Um, I think it makes my skin look really nice, even when I do have more problematic skin um, and I'm breaking out. It covers everything really well, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. Like It really doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin, which I absolutely love. Um, I also love that it's like very affordable and um i love that there is 40 different shades so hopefully a shade for everyone which i absolutely think is amazing same with the concealer it's very lightweight but it covers everything that i need it to cover um doesn't make me look cakey or crease on me definitely a fan of this the highlighter the highlighter i really really wanted to love it i think the color is absolutely beautiful and i love that they have multiple different shades so that a lot of people can find like their perfect shade match however it did make my foundation move and even when i try to like fix it with some more concealer and like kind of blend it back in it just kind of ruined like my entire face right here so it definitely made the foundation um kind of like break up and kind of cake up a little bit and then it was like left with you know basically like a cakey highlighter look so not a fan of this very sad I'm gonna definitely be returning that guy um the blush i absolutely love this blush you literally only need the tiniest amount like i think this thing is gonna last for so long that 
you know you're not gonna be buying this like very often <laughs> you're gonna be buying this like every once in a while um you only need the tiniest amount it's super pigmented they have a lot of different shade ranges and i like that there is a matte blush and a dewy blush so if you like either or you have that option um i really can't wait to get the dewy one and try that one out because i think that one's going to be really nice too the liquid eyeliner was actually really nice again i'm not a liquid eyeliner person but i really wanted to try it out because i saw everybody's like reviews on it and they're all oh, their nice little cat eye <laughs> looks and i really wish i was that person that can wear a cat eye but i'm not because these hooded eyelids are just the bane of my existence but for someone who doesn't use a liquid eyeliner this was surprisingly really nice um it dries really quickly and once it dries down like it is there it is not moving so you have to definitely work quick with this so um i want to play around with this more and see if i can kind of like master that winged eyeliner look but i did really enjoy this the dewy lip balms absolutely love them i want to pick up some more shades these shades praise and thankful i absolutely love they're like my everyday go-to's super easy to just slap on put them in your purse head out the door definitely love these guys and then the matte souffle lip cream longest names ever but i really did enjoy this um if you like that more like kind of like stained um powdery like matte look i think you would like this but if you would like still like that comfortable feeling um you'll definitely enjoy this if you're more of like that matte liquid lipstick like it's not moving it's staying put um kiss proof transfer proof <laughs> type of lipstick uh you might not like this so much but i definitely am a fan of these i want to try out some more shades because there were some really pretty shades in this lipstick so i want to pick up those ones but um yeah i would definitely use this a lot more and i definitely want to pick up some more shades that is my rare beauty review i know this is going to be such a long video i'm going to try to edit it down <laughs> as much as possible but um i wanted to be as in-depth as possible and i tried to cover I try to cover as many things as possible so that you can make an informed decision when you are purchasing or if you decide to purchase. I know there are so many beauty brands out there and there's a lot to choose from so I want you to be able to make like an informed decision if this was something that you wanted to buy or not. And I really like the how they came out with like first launch a good amount of products like you can basically do an entire face with their launch so that's pretty cool so i'm excited to see what other products they come out with because i'm sure there's going to be some other great things that they launch and i cannot wait to try it um so yeah let me know in the comments down below what you guys enjoyed about this video if you've tried anything from her beauty what you liked what you didn't like um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and let me know what you guys want to see from me next. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!